in this video, we're going to talk about how we could reference a um, textbook or a journal article using a Harvard style. So we're going to start with a textbook, uh, and then we're going to do an example of a textbook, so we have a better idea. So it's important to follow this sequence whenever you in in the same order. So it has to be author surname, and then should by comma first name. Okay, first name, his first letter only. Um, then you follow up by full stop. Then you have an answer. If there is no more authors, you're going to stop right here. But if there is more, you're going to continue. Then you're going to do the exact same thing you did with the first author. Then um, you're going to fold up. Then you're going to put the year of publish of the book. Um, these are all in textbook. It can be seen in the first acknowledgement section. Um, so information section and copyright section. So they, all the info are there. Then followed by title's name in italic form, publication location, and publisher name okay that's how you're gonna do so let's do an example um, so um, let's start drawing so um, okay so here we can say this is a surname followed by that marks a D and then you're gonna put this as that this book has been published into your year 2012 um, but um yeah the title's name is Mark's basic medical chemistry a clinical approach full stop now this book is publisher is this and um, so you can put Philippine cut Williams and Wilkins. The publisher name, however, uh, the, the location of it has, if you Google it up, is Philadelphia. So Philadelphia. Hopefully, I did the Roger spring, so That would be that. And full sum right there. There you go. There you have it. The really reasonably decent citation of the book. And referencing all the text we're using, however, so so I guess the, the the other important part is how to sequence journal article. As you can see, it's still uh, very similar to the, the other one. It, it kind of different wordings. For instance, year published, you have then comma here, then you have a title in a quote like that. Then you can put the comma right there, the journal name, issue number in bold. Then the number in bracket and the pages number. Okay, so then you have a year of publish again. So again, like that one, let's do an example. So just uh, without example, it's hard to follow. So okay, so these are the the author's first name and surname. So you're gonna start off with Morris. And, uh, L G T okay and Chan T A. Okay, so if there is this in this order they've written their name on, you should follow the same order. You don't stop with this one first, then that one. Okay. Okay, so that's down. Um, then you're gonna do year of publish. Year of publish we can find is at the top of the journal article here. So the publish online 2014. Almost 2015, but I'm gonna put it like that. So then, comma title's name. So that's therapeutic targeting of tumor suppressor genes. Done. Okay. So then you have a comma. Finish it up with the bracket. I mean, with, with the comma like that. The journal name is. Um, it has to be in italic for excuse me, I didn't put in italic so this has to be in italic cancer. Okay, so that's the journal article like that. The issue number in bold is you can find it right here hundred and twenty one then nine comma pages number one three five seven one three six eight like that okay so that's really it so i guess author surname here followed by first name comma 
And I'm um, your publish like that, tributing targeting of tumors or pressure genes, you can follow like that. Then come on, the cancer is a uh, publisher, journal name, issue number in the bold, number in bracket, and a page number like that. So that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching. If there's any questions, let me know. All the best.